Claude 4 Sonnet versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. Who wins? Today we'll find out which AI truly dominates. Um, we're about to settle the ultimate AI showdown and basically test them side by side and see what we can create. And what you're about to see may shock you because some of the stuff you can build with this is just absolutely amazing. So let's get straight into it and I'm going to show you what we can build. We're going to test these side by side and we're specifically testing Claude Force on it versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. So let's get into it, right? Now, if you want to build with Gemini 2.5 Pro for free, you can use AI Studio. And then if you want to build with Claude for Sonnet for free, then let me show you exactly how to do that in a second as well. And we'll pull these up side by side. Now I've got a bunch of awesome prompts as well that we're going to be testing. Actually, I'm genuinely interested to see what we get back from this. It's going to be pretty wild, I think. So, let's get straight into this. And by the way, if you want all the prompts, are inside the AI Profit boardroom. So, we're going to test these side by side. One thing I'm going to allow inside Claude is extended thinking, just to get better responses from Claude's force on it. And the first thing that we're going to go with inside both of these is this keyword game. Now I just need to make sure as well that I've got Gemini 2.5 Pro selected, which I have, awesome stuff. I'm just gonna change that to the latest version. So make sure you're not using the 6th of May version. Use, oh, actually that's Flash Preview. Yeah, let's just go with uh, 6th of May then. And then we'll pull these up side by side. All right. If you want all these prompts, they're inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You can just run them through ChatGPT and say, customize them to my niche or whatever you want, right? So for example, we're gonna say, build a keyword rain game. Let's plug them in, see what we get back, and then we can preview the HTML later. Now, we could also use Gemini, and it'd be interesting to know whether you get better responses inside Gemini or inside AI Studio. Obviously, Gemini is paid. I'm on the advanced model, but if you want to use it for free, you can use it inside AI Studio. So, let's roll with this. Actually, I just need to allow the canvas. There we go. You can see Claude Force on it is already coding away. And if you're wondering, okay, what's the prompt? So we said build a keyword rain game where juicy SEO keywords fall from the sky in rainbow fonts. You swipe only the gold ones. Every correct swipe trigger flashes slot machine sounds and firework combos. Miss one, screen shake, single HTML, right? So the other thing we're looking for here is speed and also whether it can one shot, right? So Gemini. 2.5 Pro, still building out. Let's see what we get back in a sec. So with the output from AI Studio, the way that I'm gonna preview this is if we go to Live Weave, we can just plug that in, all right? Let's plug that in over here. Here we go. Keyword rain SEO. Let's start the game, see what we get. It's okay, pretty average to be honest with you. Let's have a look at Gemini's output, what we got here. Very similar, to be fair, but that's a bit more, to be fair, it looks better inside Gemini than it does AI Studio. So AI Studio and Gemini are both using 2.5 Pro to build stuff out, but you can see how it doesn't work now, actually, which is weird. So you see how it's not generating anything else there? Let's see what Claude for Sonnet builds out. By the way, just whilst we're waiting for that to generate on Claude for Sonnet, if you want to see some other examples of stuff I built, check this out. This was built this morning. Pretty cool, right? Like that gets the dopamine going, it's pretty crazy. Now anyway, we're going to close that, close that. Let's get back to Claude Force on it, see what we got here. It's incredible. Only the gold keywords, all right, let's go with the gold ones. There we go. It's a pretty easy game, but you get the point. There we go. All right, good stuff. So I would say out of all of them, honestly, Claude Force Sonic won that by a long way. I didn't think the output from AI Studio was that great. Gemini actually just stopped working after the first round, but Claude Four actually worked and it had all the sound effects and everything else. So let's move on to the next one now, which is the Backlink Blaster. By the way, some people in the comments, they say, like, build something out that I would actually use or whatever. 
all you, what you can do with these prompts is like you can run them through ChatGPT and say just customize them to my niche, right? So any ideas that you see in these videos, you can just build them out to whatever niche you're in. It doesn't matter. So we're building out each of these. Let's see what we got. We already got the code from Gemini 2.5 Pro coming out, which is good. There we go. So we got Gemini 2.5 in the middle. One thing I just need to do is just um, generate that with Canvas. Always remember to generate on Canvas because it doesn't come up on default. Claude 4 has come back to us. Let's test this out. Not that great, to be honest. That wasn't a great game. <laughs> Let's see what we got back from AI Studio. I like the ones with the sound effects and the neon lights. So this is the output from AI Studio. Let's see what we get back here. Not the best game there. Let's see what we got back from uh, from Gemini. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. That is pretty insane. It's broken, but I liked it. I liked it. That one was the most entertaining. I wouldn't say any of them were particularly interesting, to be honest. But that one was probably the best. So I would say Gemini 2.5 Pro won that one. It's the most interesting. This one, not so great. The one from AI Studio, not so great. But yeah, you get the point. All right, so let's take the next one now. We're going to say build a Google algorithm boss fight. Let's plug this in. Say, just gonna to make it more interesting. Say neon lights to trigger dopamine plus include sound effects. That's what we're all about these days, all right? The other day I was watching my videos and I was like, they were back in the day. I used to talk about backlinks and all that stuff, and that's, I mean, that's still what we sell as an agency, but. I never thought I'd be in a position where I'm just coding out games in one click with AI on a live stream. Like, it's a very weird sort of progression. So anyway, let's keep playing these out, seeing what we get back. Who's going to win here? That's the question. In terms of speed. I think it might be AI Studio, you know. Oh, it's Claude Force on it. Let's see what we got back here. It doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. Right, and what I'm going to do inside Claw Force on it is just say we'll take a screenshot here. And say inside here, make sure the game is more interesting than this black screen. There should be characters, plus it should feel like a 3JS game. And we'll just recode that and see what we get back in a second. So now we've got the code back from Gemini. Let's pull this one up, see what we got. That's horrible. Those sound effects are horrible. <laughs> I mean, it's it's winning so far just because it actually created something that worked. I don't even know what this is. But we'll run with it. We'll run with it. One thing I would say here is probably the, the prompt is a bit too complex for the AI. And so it doesn't really know how to build it or what to build out. So that's something that I personally could improve. And so let's go back on to LiveWeave now. We'll take the output from AI Studio. It's kind of like a turn-based game, but it doesn't make much sense. So, I mean, in terms of who's winning here, I'm going to say that the AI Studio came in second, Gemini came in first, Claude Force on it didn't really build anything out that was useful. But maybe we'll get something better back in a sec. All right. Let's see what else we can build here. Well, here we go. So we've got the second output from Claude for Sonnet. Why is it... Why is it just got that inside the, the top left? 
doesn't make any sense. All right, Claude Forsonic just got totally confused there. Probably my bad prompts, but still, you can see how it worked on AI Studio and, and Gemini as well. Next up, let's keep going now. So what we're going to say is build a SERP racing game. So let's plug that in. We'll go with Gemini as well. And just to be clear here, so Gemini has won two out of three of the battles. Claude 4 is coming in second to Gemini 2.5 Pro. But we'll keep going. We'll keep testing for you and seeing what we get back in a sec. Here we go. Claude 4 Sonnet seems to be the fastest, honestly, from what I can see. So let's see what we got here. That's working beautifully. Let's just unmute this as well because it does have sound effects. Do you know what? I'm going to publish that one. And then we'll give it a cheeky go. I mean, the fact that you can just build this out in a minute is just absolutely wild for the quality. How long would it take a coder to build this stuff out, right? So let's go on this, see what we've got here. So we're flying a blog post. We want to get backlinks. I mean, it actually makes sense as a game, to be fair. We're increasing the speed. Oh, yes, we're absolutely nailing it. Oh, no, no, no. We crashed into the cert void. That's pretty cool. I mean, we can... Not bad at all, that. Not bad at all. All right. Now let's see what we got back from AI Studio. That looks to be getting a bit confused. Sometimes it does this AI Studio with sound effects. So you see how it's just creating loads of code? I reckon it's going to break, but we'll see in a sec. And then we got Gemini still building this out. That should be ready to preview in a sec. Here we go. Pilot your blog throws through the treacherous SERPs, collect fuel boost and nitro. Avoid AI spam and 404 asteroids. Okay, let's go. There's nothing on screen, mate. Yeah, there's nothing going on there. Nothing to dodge. And AI Studio is still going hard in the paint on ones and zeros over here. Look at that. All right, so so far, I mean, I would say Claude Four Sonic is, has won that round. And also the difference here is that Claude Four Sonic created a perfectly working game that actually makes sense. It didn't get stuck on the code like this one, and the game was a lot more fun than the other two. So it's winning on all rounds, all right? So it's two all so far. Let's see what else we're going to create now. I'm just going to stop AI Studio because it's been stuck for 207 seconds. So let's go with the final round. We're going on canvas. And then we're going to run this through Claude 4 Sonnet. To be honest, Claude 4 Sonnet will probably finish before both of them, even though we've given both of them the head start. But let's see what we get back. And if you're wondering, okay, why am I using Sonnet instead of other methods? So the reason I'm using Sonnet was like a lot of people were asking for it in the comments yesterday. So I was like, right, let's create this, right? Let's test them out. Opus is really powerful too. But yeah, I just want to test out Sonnet. I think Sonnet might be, well, it's definitely cheaper if you're using the API as well. So that's a big difference too. You might be wondering, okay, like what? other AI tools do I use? So I actually have inside the AI Profit Boardroom a list of all my favorite tools, right? So if you wanna learn, you know, what tools am I using inside my business, what are my top three, etc., feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description, you can learn how to build this stuff out yourself. And also what we use and what's working right now. So again, Claude Force on it is has created something straight off the bat. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. It's just incredible, it's SEO Space Invaders. I think to be honest, we could make that even more interesting, which I might do in a second, but it's pretty cool. 
All right, here's what I'm gonna say. Make the screen crazier with more animations, music, flashing colors, and overall craziness. Plus, make the screen shake. There we go. All right. Because Claude 4 is so f fast, like we can probably code two versions before the other two are ready. So Gemini is still coding back here. And then we've got the code back from AI Studio. You might be wondering, like, do you need the premium version of Claude as well? I would just try the free version and see if it works for you. If it works for you, then you can upgrade because you're like, right, I need bigger limits and that sort of thing. So this is the output from AI Studio. Let's start playing this now. It's not bad. Yeah, it's quite fun. It's quite fun. I wouldn't say it's as good as Claw for Sonnets, but not bad at all. Now we've got Gemini's over here. So let's see what we get back. I can't see the main character at the bottom. But not bad. Not bad. I'm still going to go with Claude 4 Sonnet. I think it was way more interesting. So out of the five rounds, Claude 4 Sonnet won three rounds. Gemini 2.5 won two rounds. 2.5 Pro. Okay. Someone asked, like, what's the heart about as well? I'm not even sure myself, to be honest with you. On this one, right? Maybe that's like your health score or something, like you have to protect it. But yeah, that's what I mean, like it doesn't quite add up, it doesn't quite make sense. So, now we've got the Claude 4 Sonnet output, let's check this out. Okay, this, this went mad. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna close that down. Let's close that down. So, Claude Force Sonic 1, by a long way. That was pretty crazy stuff. Um, yeah, if you want to get all the prompts from today, plus tons of courses on Claude 4, how to use Gemini 2.5 Pro, etc., feel free to get that inside the AR Profit boardroom. Comes with all the examples that I've shown you today, and also all of the prompts, plus much more. And you can get that inside the AR Profit boardroom. Sorry, the AI Success Lab, completely for free. Right? All this stuff is free. And if you want to get help, support, if you want to connect with me, if you want to be able to DM me and get advice, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This also comes with like weekly coaching calls, all of my best automations. If you want to know, okay, what AI tools are working right now, feel free to get all the information inside the AI Profit Boardroom. And the main thing here as well is like the community is just a million times better inside the AI Profit Boardroom, right? So if you need help, support, coaching, if you need advice, if you have questions, this is the place to go, right? And you can post in here, introduce yourself. And also it's just about having fun, right? I know a lot of people who join this because they were in an area where they can't connect with people doing the same things, right? And so this is one of the best places to go. So feel free to get that link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom. You've seen all the madness. We've seen that Claude for Sonnet wins today. Very tight battle. Both of them created like really cool stuff, but Claude for Sonnet is the GOAT right now. And you can use Claude for Sonnet as well for free. So, Pretty cool stuff.